Hello, my name is Bruce Doran. I'm one of the staff scientists that works on the third floor in the Wetlands Lab. And in this clip, I want to show you a group of citizens that are actually doing some wonderful work here in Sudbury, the Junction Creek Stewardship Committee. These people, mainly volunteers, are actually working at helping restore Junction Creek that we see behind here, which is an urban creek in Sudbury. And this group of citizens, with the help of scientists and other agencies, are going to work at restoring a specific type of habitat to help restore life here in Junction Creek. I'm Shannon Denny. I'm the coordinator for the Junction Creek Stewardship Committee. It was formed about 13 years ago. A group of concerned citizens had gotten together after a few meetings and uh, they wanted to do something concrete, something hands-on, and someone suggested hey, we've got this beautiful creek that uh, flows through the heart of Sudbury. How about we clean it up and help it out? So Junction Creek is very unique. It's 56 kilometers long and it starts in Garson and it goes through New Sudbury, through downtown, and goes to Kelly Lake, then McCharles Lake, then Mud Lake. And so it's unique in the sense that it runs through such an urban part and so it has urban problems, um, urban pollution like fertilizer from from lawns, salt from the roadways, uh, people throwing garbage in the creek. And uh, this is a very unique section that we restored with a root wad structure. So it's a bioengineering method that we used to address the severe erosion problem. Uh, this was put in in 2006 and it was severely eroded at the time and so we came in and the root wad structure is huge boulders and using cedar root wads and you can see that over time we replanted and you can barely even tell that there is a that it has been bioengineered at all over time we've seen that these areas are getting cleaner and cleaner so they come out and they plant trees instead so in the next segment you'll be meeting brendan and he will explain to you uh, the work involved in this new wetland project and all the great things that it will do for the life uh, further downstream in junction creek Hi, I'm Brendan O'Farrell. I'm the project manager at Junction Creek Stewardship Committee. And here we are standing in front of what is going to be a wetland within the next few weeks. This is a tributary of Junction Creek itself uh, called Nolan Creek. Over time it's been degraded. Um, it's got a heavy metal content in it. And we're going to build a new wetland right here um, to help filter out some of, the, uh, some of the toxins, some of the heavy metal. and. Uh, bring back some life and some fish to, uh, to this part of Junction Creek. So the funding that we got for this project uh, came through the Environmental Damage Fund. Uh, it's a fund created by Environment Canada for, uh, for projects that are going to help bring back, bring back the environment. Well, the wetlands are going to consist of a 20 by 30 meter pond uh, surrounded by native vegetation with different structures built into it to provide habitat for both fish uh, as well as wildlife, uh, reptiles, uh, snakes, turtles, uh, salamanders. And there'll be three of these wetlands placed strategically within the area. So the unique part about this, uh, this project is that we're creating three wetlands, uh, a series of three wetlands within an urban environment. Uh, this is unique in the fact that it's going to bring wildlife and critters that were once here back to the area. So we saw some of the wonderful work the Junction Creek Stewardship Committee is doing here in Sudbury and also for Junction Creek. Within the next few videos we're going to see what they are doing to help restore some of the life in Junction Creek and some of this wetland restoration or creation project and see what needs to be done and the impacts on the environment here in Junction Creek and also Sudbury.